What we're going to be going over here is year-end manufacturing overhead adjustment using the direct write-off method and that we'd be using for either under allocated or over allocated overhead here. And that would be related to a job order costing here. So for the year here we use the normal costing here for job orders and what we've done here is we've applied an overhead rate here uh, that was a predetermined or a budgeted overhead rate and now at the end of the year here we know our actual over, uh, what our actual costs and our overhead is. So we're going to have to make some adjustments between what we budgeted and applied here versus our actual overhead. So the first thing we want to do is we want to calculate what we had for our applied overhead rate or that predetermined overhead rate. So what we've done here, we'd have taken our budgeted uh, total indirect cost here of, in this case, was $688,800, and we would have divided it by the budgeted total direct labor hours for our basis here and that we had uh, budgeted here at 16,400 hours. So that is going to give us a, a budgeted or a predetermined overhead rate here $42 per hour. Now at the end of the year here we determined that our actual indirect uh, 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 costs here in, the, in total cost here was $800,000 and our actual direct labor hours here we're 16,000 hours, so that is going to give us a, a, a overhead rate here of $50 per hour. So we got a difference here between what we budgeted at $42 per hour and what we applied for our costing for the year here for the um, uh, jobs that went through the factory here versus what our actual overhead here is at the end of the year at $50 per hour here. So we want to just calculate our actual overhead versus uh, versus our applied overhead for the year here. So we're taking our, our year totals here. So for our actual amount, what is that? We had, what, $50 here per hour times the actual direct labor hours here, 16,000 hours. And that's gonna give us 800,000 here in actual overhead. And then for our applied overhead, well, what was that? It was a, a, but our overhead rate here, $42 per hour, again, times the actual direct labor hours here, 16,000 hours. And that's going to give us $672,000 here in applied overhead. So you can see here, our actual overhead of $800,000 here uh, versus our applied overhead, we have an under-allocated amount here of $128,000. So we should have actually been using uh, uh, $800,000 here for our overhead for those jobs that have gone through the factory for the year, but we only use $672,000 here. That's what we applied. Difference was our under allocated amount here of 128,000. Okay, so now let's go up and let's look at how we make our entries here. So using the direct write-off method, the total under or over allocated manufacturing overhead is included in the current year's cost of goods sold. So what we have here laid out in T-account form, we've just got our flows here, we're going to have this manufacturing overhead control account here, and it's sort of a special account for controlling our overhead. And then that overhead that we have coming out of our control account here goes into a work and process control account, and then we go down into a finished goods control account, and then our finished goods uh, control account, we would have recorded our cost of goods sold here. So with the direct write-off method, all we can do is move those that actual versus our applied amount directly into our cost of goods sold, directly write it off. So for our example here, our actual cost for the year here in our manufacturing overhead control account, we have that at $800,000, debit amount here at $800,000. And then what we applied during the year here, we have we would have credited out that manufacturing overhead account here for six hundred and seventy two thousand dollars so we have that difference here eight hundred thousand versus six seven six hundred seventy two thousand we have that hundred and twenty eight thousand here uh of applied over here is under the actual amount here that we have so we have to uh, account for that so what we do here rather than go in and make our adjustments in our work and process and our finished goods account, we go directly to our cost of goods sold here on the income statement. All these other accounts are sitting on the balance sheet, cost of goods sold is sitting on the income statement. So the 128,000 here, that we would have had to uh, credit that, well we, had, we would have had to credit that here or increase our manufacturing overhead or excuse me, reduce our manufacturing overhead by that extra 128,000 here. So debit would have been here to a credit here for 128,000. The debit would go directly to our cost of goods sold here for 128,000. So for our 
our case here, our, before our adjustment here, we had $2 million sitting in our ending balance here in our cost of goods sold. Now we have to add in that extra $128,000 worth of under allocated overhead. So now we're going to have in our cost of goods sold a total amount of $2,128,000 after. So that increases our cost of goods sold and in essence reduces our revenues by that amount. So remember our cost of goods sold is a contract account or an expense account to our revenues or our sales account. So the key is here with manufacturing overhead, if it's under allocated, the cost of goods sold should be increased or debited. That is, you don't, you haven't, when we say under allocated, we haven't allocated the total amount of actual overhead that we have here for the year. So we're going to have to go directly to our cost of goods sold and increase or debit our cost of goods sold for any under allocated overhead. And the opposite would be true here. Now, if you had it, so if you have over, over allocation of overhead, say for example, we had uh, instead of the 672,000 here, we had 800,000 here that we applied in our overhead and our actual costs were only 672,000. So then it would have been over allocated. We would have over allocated 128,000. So what we would have done in that case for a direct write-off, rather than go and debit or increase our cost of goods sold, we would have credited or reduced our cost of goods sold here by that $128,000. Okay, so that's using the direct write-off method. Then one final thing here, just looking at our closing entries to bring to zero here, these manufacturing overhead related accounts, what we would have done in this case, we had that cost of goods sold, we, would have, we debited it here, we wrote it off for that extra 128,000 here that was uh, under allocated. Then our manufacturing control account, we had that 672,000 debit sitting in there or we would have debited that out here for 672,000 and in our manufacturing overhead, that, where that allocation amount that we had, we would have credited that for $800,000. So you can see that here. That manufacturing overhead control account, we had a credit of 672,000 here. So we would have, de to clear it out, we would have debited here for 672,000. And then for our 800,000 here in our actual cost, we had a debit that for that amount and then we would have to clear it out we would have credited it here for eight hundred thousand dollars and that's reflected here in uh, using our debits and credits here for those accounts so you can see the direct write-off it's a pretty easy method here you go directly to your cost of goods sold here over uh, if you under allocate it you're going to have to increase your cost of goods sold here debit it if it's over allocated you're going to be decreasing your cost of goods sold account here. So let's just go back here one more thing to understand it. So understanding that why we're increasing or decreasing it here, remember that this applied manufacturing overhead we had for the year here, it moved into the work and process uh, account for that amount and then it moved out of it through into our through a cost of goods manufactured into the finished good account here for the cost of goods manufactured. So if we had, in this case, we had that 128,000 that was under allocated here, that was sitting in that cost of goods sold, a cost of goods manufactured account here. And then that cost of goods manufactured would have went into our cost of goods sold here and it would have been credited out here from our finished goods credit in our cost to our cost of goods sold here. So we ultimately, we ended up here in our cost of goods sold based on that under allocation here. We're under allocated by $128,000. So based on our actual amount, we had to add that back. We had to add the 128,000 here to begin to include the total amount here of overhead in that cost of goods sold. So the, after our direct write-off here, our total cost of goods sold included the total amount here, actual amount here of $800,000 in manufacturing overhead. Just to transfer directly any under or any under or over amount here in your overhead uh, coming out of your manufacturing overhead control account, any under or over amount of allocation goes directly into the cost of goods sold. Okay, so that'll summarize our topic.